I am standing in front of the Rock Haven Sanitarium. This was opened in 1923 by a pioneering nurse named Agnes Richards, and it was a home for mentally ill women. It was one of the very first institutions of its kind in America, run by and for women. And it's still one of only three in California that still exists. Let's go inside. So Southern California has been a haven for health seekers since at least the 1880s. Uh, back then, wealthy folks from the East and from the Midwest, uh, they would come out to California on advice of their doctors to try and help cure rheumatism or tuberculosis. When it came to mental illness, though, things were different. So most treatment centers in California were large and public-owned and tended to treat their uh, residents more like, more like inmates, honestly, to be segregated from the rest of society. And women had it particularly hard. They could be sent away to an institution uh, just for non-compliance with a husband or a father. Agnes Richards had spent some time at a lot of public facilities. Uh, she was in mental health care for much of her life. And she had seen firsthand how unsafe and unfair conditions could be uh, for patients. So she took a thousand bucks that she had saved and she bought a little cottage right at the front of the property that I'm now walking by. It was called Rock House. So what was different about Rock Haven? First of all, Agnes Richards exclusively hired women. There were a couple of gardeners that were men, I believe. But other than that, all the caregivers, all the other nurses were women. And the theory there is that uh, other women would feel safe. She was also inspired by environmental determinism, which was a theory that the surroundings that you're in will make a big difference in your behavior. As you'll see from the buildings behind me, these are mostly one-story cottages, and there are these lovely walkways that you walk down in between them. Uh, it feels a little bit more like home. There is a kitchen and a dining room, but your living quarters are your living quarters. They're intended to, uh, to live in. It was this this idea of being in a place that was beautiful, that was restful, there's a lot of outdoor space. The landscaping is gorgeous around here. Uh, all these oaks have been here for a long time, and uh, you see pictures from many, many years ago, uh, and it just looks like you're wandering around a, uh, an English garden. So there's a real sense of being at a place where you were cared for, and the grounds were cared for. So the fact that the La Crescenta Valley is so close to the rest of Los Angeles and Hollywood meant that you did have a good number of folks in entertainment, including some celebrities or celebrity-adjacent people staying here. So Billy Burke stayed here. She was uh, Glinda the Good Witch in the original Wizard of Oz. And uh, Gwen Lee, an actress. And perhaps most famously, Marilyn Monroe's mother, Gladys Baker Ely, stayed here in the 50s and 60s. Um, I have heard that she was quite the escape artist and tried to escape three times. Uh, one of those times, uh, she very nearly got married. Now, Agnes Richards continued to work here from 1923 until uh, just before her death in 1967. Uh, by that time, the day-to-day -day care had been transitioned to her granddaughter, Patricia Travis. Under Travis's care, Rockhaven transitioned into a nursing home for elderly women, mostly. She sold it in 2001, and it was purchased by a local healthcare nonprofit called the Ararat Home. Uh, but five years later, they, in turn, uh, wanted to get rid of it. There was a time when people were worried that a developer would come in and demolish the whole place. Uh, luckily, Glendale, the city of Glendale, purchased it in 2008. Uh, the hope is that very soon it's going to become a museum in one of the buildings, a medical museum, and also an interpretive center uh, for the history of Rock Haven. In 2021, the state of California uh, set aside $8 million for the rehabilitation of Rock Haven. And so we're hoping that that vision of it becoming a museum will actually happen sometime soon. Um, right now, there are tarps all over the place. There isn't really much work that has started. Um, so it's been slow going. But let's hope that <laughs> not too long after the 100th birthday of this place, which is 2023, we'll all be able to 
walk around Rock Haven and uh, celebrate the incredible legacy of Agnes Richards and all the caregivers that uh, devoted so much time and attention to uh, rehabilitating the women that stayed there. Thanks for doing LA with me.